You have to climb a set of stairs backstage in order to get to the top of these stairs at the front of the stage. But these stairs are vital to the chat show because this processional route gives a sense of tremendous grandeur. This is quite clearly designed to be a place of consensus rather than controversy. The colors are very muted and soothing. It's a bit like the VIP lounge of an international airport. And look at these things, like the world's largest worry beads. There's just enough architectural detail here to keep the viewers happy. There's a bit of deco, a bit of fashionable marbleizing, just enough to show that whoever is in charge here is slightly hip. Now, the round forms seem to suggest an atmosphere of friendly chit-chat and egalitarianism. But let's not forget that this swivel chair is very much the throne, and the host is quite clearly in command. He can see the audience, and he can see the guests. And the guests sit in rather less than splendid isolation with their back to the audience. So it's quite clear as to who the top banana is. As a guest, it's much more important to be close to the host than to the audience. As new guests come on and you move further and further down the sofa, you feel increasingly redundant. Now, amongst the hostly perks is a locked-on camera recording in loving close-up every witticism and facial gesture. There's a further staircase, which gives at least the illusion of host-audience intimacy. The graphic identity of the program is important, too. The Wogan people have adopted a chain store look, which presumably signifies Wogan's status as a national institution. <laughs> 